Good morning boys and girls, ladies and gents. We are taking a look at the Bugara HMR. I know I did a video last week about just shooting the rifle, but today I'm actually doing a full review on this rifle. This thing is a shooter, but I just want to go into a little more detail as far as the trigger, the action, everything like that. Hope you guys enjoy this. Again, this is on the Bergara B14 HMR chambered in a 6.5 Creedmoor. We're just going to shoot at 100 yards. Okay, here we go. First shot. So we're using the Hornady 147 grain ELD. This is just the mash grade. We can shoot a group with that, so let's group it. All right, there's a five shot group. Let's go take a look. Here we go on the stroll of the 100 yard walk. I hope you guys are having a good day. I am leaving in a few days to go chase some elk in the back country. Um, doing like 10, 12 days. Uh, ho hopefully we get it done on a couple big bulls so we can show you guys on film uh, our hunt. As we're walking up on this group here. Isn't that nice? This thing's driving tax. Probably right at three quarter. As you saw last week, I went out and I set up right at, it was like 415, 417. About the furthest I could get without traipsing through the brush. You know, just set up, took a couple shots, and you guys didn't see many shots because I was an idiot and I did not bring in, well, I grabbed a battery that I thought was charged and it wasn't. So that's why I ended up not doing a review on it then. I just wanted to shoot it, show you guys this one does come with a 22 inch barrel you can get these with a 20 or 20, uh, 22 26 20 inches all the way up to 26 inches this is the loophole the vx3i it is the six and a half to 20 power by 50 millimeter nothing super fancy obviously more expensive than a basic hunting scope all right, guys, real quick, I want to give a kudos out to whoever came up here. If you're watching this, thank you. We're out here in Star, Idaho, just on public land, BLM land here. Whoever came, as I've been shooting here off and on, you know, I've been going through and I've been picking up just a little bit of trash, like a bag every time I'm out here. But somebody came out here and cleaned up a lot of stuff. Just want to say thank you. Again, people, please keep our public lands clean. I mean, this is for all of us to use. So be very grateful that we have them because if not, you got to pay to play, which is not always fun. Not a bad thing. Get back to the Bergara. As far as this mag, very easy to load maybe. I have a freaking cut on my thumb. I stabbed it with a filled tip on my arrow the other night. And it's a little sore. It's like right where I want to push to load mags. Let's send it again. We'll go top right corner. Oh, that was me. I'm not shooting very well on this one. This is not the rifle, it's me. I can feel it. That's better. That's better. Those first couple, I didn't shoot very good. I calmed down. I think a lot of shooting, I mean, just sports, anything in general, is like 95% mental. You know, when I stop, slow down, control my breathing, and shoot, I shoot really, really well. And you can see that on those last three. Okay, calm down, just shot, and they're tight. So let's go look. I just realized that on those last five, I did not hit record on my phone for the phone scope. So you don't get the live pew, 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 pew. 
That's all the walk up we'll have to do for you guys. It's been really nice because that fall weather feeling, which I love. One, for shooting out here, and two, I just love fall. The cool weather, and if you're like me, you really like screaming bulls come September. I settled down. There's actually two in that one. These ones, that's, that's my first, like, second, third. But then I settled back down and just shoot, just shot. Like I know how to shoot. I'm gonna let it cool again, and I'm gonna shoot five more. Settle down, take my gosh dang time. I swear this airplane is like flying over me. Because every time I'm here, when I try and talk to you guys, he seems to be flying by. I'm just jealous, I wish I had an airplane. It's bored while we're letting this rifle cool. I just figured while I'm sitting here, I'm gonna do some elk calling for you guys. I know if a lot of you are back Midwest, maybe you haven't hunted elk, it's awesome. I haven't hunted whitetail. Maybe one of these days we can work something out. I wouldn't mind smoking a big whitetail with my bow. Let's just give her a go. need to break it in so the best way to break in a call I found is just hammer it but I don't have a bugle tube I forgot it it's not in the truck shop towels it'll work hold on figured I might as well start promoting it um, the new hunt signature series bugle tube you can purchase this on Amazon. I'm just kidding, guys. Anyway, it's not very good because, again, this call's not broken. Let's see if we can lip ball with this. <coughs> Hunting Signature Series. Go check it out. Appreciate you guys following along. Um, we appreciate all your support. We cannot thank you enough. Um, we've had some really cool videos. We've just continued to grow, and I hope we can continue to grow so we can keep bringing you guys these videos. If you guys don't know, a little background about myself. Again, get to know Brad on the Bergara Review. I've been calling elk all my life. I have competed in the World Championships. I finished fourth last year in the world, far as this year. I won a couple calling events early, like in February at the Hunt Expo. They canceled everything due to the COVID blah 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 so we didn't have world championships this year just enjoy elk hunting and calling elk so let's shoot this last round of five here last one That one shot really good. Again, I think a lot of it's just mental. Concentrate, breathe normal, and shoot. That last one, I think I shot a little bit. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. I keep bumping the button on this so you guys get real close. I know I'm not very good looking, so hope everybody had a good summer. It's almost over. I feel bad for the kids with all the lockdowns and COVID and couldn't do their regular summer activities and sports and everything. So take a look there. I think that was my fifth one. Again, the concentration focus. Gosh, dang. I really like shooting this rifle. We are working on some other things coming up, but man, it's tough right now because we have a lot of cool things we want to do, but firearms right now are tough to come by. It's heartbreaking. And who knows what's gonna happen with this election. It could be scary. ARs could be in jeopardy. Ammo is insane right now. I remember as a kid, this is, I don't know, 15 years ago, I guess. I remember being able to buy 22 ammo, a box of 500 for around $7.99, $9.99 at most. We were fortunate, I guess, growing up back then because we were able to go shoot rock chucks and ground squirrels and birds and whatever with cheap 22 ammo. Now, 
I bought, just because I wanted it, I bought a brick of 500 for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, are you freaking kidding me? That is insane. The ammo manufacturers have figured out like, hey, you know what, we can charge these people some more. But it's just not cool, not cool at all. All right guys, hope you enjoyed uh, watching myself shoot this Bergara B14 HMR chambered in a 6.5 Creedmoor. So now we're gonna get down to a little bit of the nitty gritty stuff. I know we talked about some of it. This is the Leupold VX3i. This is a 6.5 220 power by 50 millimeter. This is the CDS target. Like most of your precision rifles, it does have the adjustable length of pull. As far as your cheek piece, so this does have the adjustable cheek piece, which is really, really nice. You can set this rifle up to yourself so this b14 action is a very smooth action uh, enjoy getting behind it same with the trigger the b14 trigger is a smooth trigger we saw it in our roundup of eight rifles under 750 dollars and in that same trigger was smooth as well this one is currently set at 2.5 pounds there's no creep in it uh, very smooth has a great back wall this stock does have the mini chassis so you're as far as bedding it's really nice because you don't have to worry uh, about the cracking or breaking. Uh, this is a free floated barrel. I don't know if I have a dollar bill. Kids usually take the dollar bills. But as you can see here, all the way up to the barrel. I've had some that claim the free floating uh, barrel and everything, and it'll stop about right here. So you have like another inch and a half, two inches where that barrel actually is that would be touching where this one is 100% free floated. Really great shooter, very, very accurate. As far as the magazine, so it does have a detachable magazine. They come AICS standard. Some others like your PRC may only hold three, uh, but this one holds five plus one in the chamber. Very easy to eject, just a single button. Same with your action. So very easy to eject the bolt. Uh, just one single button over on this other side. The safety on this rifle, very comfortable, very easy, just your standard um, thumb safety. Also, what I want to show you guys is this particular one does have the integrated QD uh, flush cups for your sling mounts. I wish every rifle, including hunting rifles, would put that on there. Also, this does have the standard swivel sling mounts as well. Uh, as far as this barrel, so it does come in a variety of lengths 20 inches all the way up to 26 inches uh, does come standard threaded for a muzzle brake 5 8 24. this particular one is a 22 inch barrel what they start at as far as pounds is a minimum of 9.5 pounds all the way up to uh, 9.9 .9 pounds without the optic obviously that's going to add a pound or two hope you guys enjoyed this we appreciate you following along we appreciate all the support go ahead and like our videos leave us some comments as always i know you guys hear the spiel i try to get to as many comments as i can don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you all for watching have a good day